Hi, this is John here with Colorado Custom Covers and Decks. Uh, we're just going to go over some bracing really quick and the reason why we do it. Uh, first thing I want to point out is we're trying not to attach anything to the person's house um, and uh, be careful where you put nails on some of our finished product. So if you take a look over here, uh, we went ahead and we attached the first board to our ledger which is attached to the house. If you want to take a closer look, the nails are not in the house, they're actually into the ledger, so we're not leaving any holes behind. Alright, and so we're using that brace right there to hold our, our first post plumb. Um, and we're going to leave it up there until we get all of our joists attached up top, so that way there can't be any movement in it and it stays plumb the whole way through. And if you come take a look over here, this is finished product. So this is where you have to really be careful where you're putting your nails and how many of them. So we're only putting one nail in here. Uh, and when we pull it out, we will we'll fill it with some putty. Uh, so that way it, it can be filled in. And then that holds it plumb this way. And then come around the corner here. And in order to hold it plumb this other direction, we went and we took two more braces going to our middle post. And we attach that on the bottom with one nail down there too. It's also finished product and we're going to wrap that with something. So that'll cover those nail holes over there. And then you want to do a second one. Uh, come on over here. Now since that post is being held plumb in both directions, the next one we need to worry about is our other outer post here. So we ran another brace from the middle up to the top when you're doing these outer posts and you're trying to hold your plumb this way you want to make sure you're nailing up on the top of them so you have maximum hold and it's not gonna go in any direction we also put another brace straight down to the ground holding it plumb in that direction and then over here when you don't have anywhere to attach your braces to uh, you have to put a spike into the ground and the important thing to remember about your spike is put it in at a backwards angle that way if there's any kind of pull it pulls it up and, and it, it won't move and make sure it's driven in there really nice and solid and then attach to the top of your post and make sure you're plumb before you attach them all obviously uh, and just uh, we'll use the wood putty on those nail holes as well just so you know it's a nice finished product and you do not want to take any of these down until you have rafter clips on all of your joists up there to hold it all into place and then you can go ahead and remove your bracing. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, just remember if you got any questions the deck answers.